Driving, freestyling, part 35, not even high anymore. Still, I don't gotta open the door and go explore anywhere right now because I already left behind the town in which I was trying to find my girl. Proved to her I could give her the world because I would work day and night learning all about the different aspects of life that lead you right to the payday in which you may claim that by God's grace you were prepared to slay any delayed the path before you with an obstacle in front of you in which you had to turn triangular into an op operation of making a rectangle more celebrated to introduce squares to what's fair so we can inherit a share of the big bear honey pot which you know a lot of guys got a prop trying to reach the top of the tree to get that unlocked to hold the spot in which they come down with the bee's knees great craving sensation of delightful cheese even though it's honey it's kind of like cheese and i'll be introducing the night scene to a bright scene where they fight for me and all i see because i don't even know if we deserve to have relatively anything that we seem to proceed to be holding near and it's not clear whether the moon's out because it's snowing so goddamn hard coming down from all around creating a fog of ice hail chipping the dog's shoulder to make him feel like he carries the boulder of issues declining to be which is going to be resulting in me telling the whole world how I really feel about Vlad P and and Joseph B because I think I should referee and they should compete in a boxing tournament trying to see who gets to the top of it and enters a bracket in which they're celebrated some of the best with hands sporadic to make an indication that they can lay waste to anybody they want to with hands of doom making a goon fast approach a zoom in on the underground clued in way of tribute paying homage to who decayed before them in a coffin that we boarded up with their name on it as a nice greeting tucked away in a hard to read space when it's underground until it reaches the light of day again and they can say that they were friends until the end and get buried next to each other after they box each other to the death and one of them won the fight but was bleeding from the head so fucking profusely that he was meeting his doomsday no matter what and it was going to be the end of him I solemnly swear on all my kin until we said amen for them both and made a toast and said we'll remember and honor them for a long time and not tell jokes about either of them because they were real tough folk that really did have honor and hope set aside for the rest of those of us they know and knew as we grew to learn that we could do anything we feel like it if we're mighty Vikings destructing paths walking shedding what happens to be lightning pounding down on the earth around us till the sky falls down and a big brownish sunset oversees the sky and the whole sky far and wide is brown and then it matches all the brown people that we bombed being the USA which is the reason everybody's been coming here to stay because they think we're so powerful and great and they want some of that mega, mega mega they want some of that mega platinum pussy of our girlfriends because they know that it's their tushies that made us the whirlwind of the world becoming the world police because we felt authoritative after getting them on their knees and making them suck the D and then we felt so high and mighty we thought we could take on the goddamn world but we couldn't because now the world's kicking our ass in our own jurisdiction pleasing themselves as they wish to doing everything else but get a good look at who's not corrupt and who stands before them ready to talk peace if we can achieve 
that and proceed to be all we seek to be. And if we can, then God damn, I say, let's make peace already then. Amen. But they rather say, no, we can't because the job's unfinished. We haven't left the great Americans diminished and not replenished, but sent back to where forth they came from, Hell's Gates, where they were the arisen, showed to be saint and spawns to disrupt all calm across the whole planet. And damn it, we figured that we brought to them what they brought to us all along, which was just everything wrong, making us feel off. And we said, let's make a song. And then we'll right our wrongs until dawn. We'll all sing along to the same tune. Feel like our souls have really moved in a new direction. And we're done inspecting each other, but rather put down our weapons and come up with a replication of demonstration to show we are nations of simplistic souls ready to go at whatever stands before us to put an end to all disrupting behaviors and endure the worst in which God's good earth could grant upon us in a wicked time of doubting and showing that displicable actions only are met with disreputable contribution to an end, not approaching a blossoming, fool-hearted way of tool parting today and putting down all those we take aim with to see each other shamed when it came time to inflict pain upon the unworthy, but rather we were certain that we were going to move toward an opportunity to create an everlasting peace and say in the name of all free, may us all be free everywhere, make love the only thing we declare, not war and feed the poor and make everybody stronger and let the animals and penguins and birds all go home from the zoo and try to be cool with each other like we were in our youth and make it so everybody's part of the game that we play that maintains the circle of life us all exchange in energy and ideas all the time all night even till the daylight and not have to sleep every night and not have to eat three times a day but rather fast for God and become more alive and awake than we've ever been and partake in the blessing of the sun arriving by the fulfillment of the moon to show we so so soonly do groom ourselves so well that we came to leave hell and enter heaven and we all made it there and everybody was blessed since everybody was more aware after passing for God and freeing the world and doing all we thought that we could and then we were all better and healed and it was forever a deal that we forever stay real and appeal to the part of us that seek to portray the weak don't delay but become strong one day when we all belong in a safe community of grace under God, the great divine master of the top, almighty knowing of all, our one father who we pray to still until we can't no longer and all fall ill and that day will be the end of humanity as we see it and the greater good will be non-existent and will no longer fish but we still will try to coexist a bit until we no longer live. Amen. Peace.